Hi guys, Charlie Tango One here, coming at you with yet another exciting video. <laughs> this um, this video is just a short one about this percolator that I um, discussed in a, a, an earlier video. I'm just going to tell you this out because I'll keep forgetting. Bear with me. There we go. Otherwise, we end up forgetting. Right, um, now what I'm going to do on this one is um, I'm going to, uh, I was telling you about um, getting a smaller stove for this, getting possibly the smallest one I could. Well, this is as far as I went down to and um, I thought, yeah, that's great. That's about as small as I can go. Let's just get that white round. I don't know why that's... Oh, I see, right. It's <clears throat> about as small as I can go, <clears throat> or get, um, and it's uh, it's burns. It actually boils it up um, right to the point um, of where I want it. I didn't think it would be big enough to actually bring it to a boil. Um, Bear with me a second. I forgot to put some water in here, so just um, amuse yourselves for a second. I'll just put some water in there. Right, I'm back. That was silly, wasn't it? I forgot to put some water in there. Um, yes, one thing I did notice with this uh, pressure release valve here, I only boiled it up once, and I just happened to check it as, a, as you do. I thought, oh, it's a bit loose, and I'd already tightened that once, so it's worth bearing in mind. Keep a check on that if need be, nip it up. Um, again, don't have that facing you when you're boiling up, as you're going to get some steaming hot water straight in your face. Now, there we go. But, uh, I don't know, excuse me, I've got to have, I like my tea, see, really, rather than coffee. I've done a video yesterday because I was going to get a titanium pot that someone said that these cans fit straight into well not this particular one because it's not he said um, a Coleman so I went out today and I bought a Coleman £4.95 that one was £6 that one army surplus store so obviously dearer still um, butane and propane same as this one mix um, but when I've looked at them, they're both exactly the same size. So I don't know, uh, don't know quite what's going on there. So theoretically speaking, that should go in that titanium mug that I'm waiting for. Now I used surgical uh, meths last time, um, but over in America, I think they call this uh, white gas or something. Well, basically, what white gas is. What I believe is surgical spirit. Now I've tried some of that. Um, it's a little bit more pleasant smelling than um, meths actually. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill that up first. Sorry about my head being cut off. Um, I'm trying to get it so that we can um, keep it on the product in question, turn it around a bit more so you can see. Um, so I'm going to fill that so it doesn't soak down anymore. 
which I think is about there. So, good for cuts and abrasions, but by God does it sting when you put it on. <laughs> now, oh yeah, I can see that soak through there, that bit there. I'm going to put that in there, as I so. And I'm still going to put it in this little uh, flat metal tin lid. Now that when I, oh, where are we? When I made this one, this little stove, that's the smallest I could go. I made sure this time that it touched the bottom of this pot, which it does. I've got some ground coffee here um, that uh, is already done and sealed up. But I have got some in my little coffee grinder. Bought one of these online. Lovely little gadget. Put the handle on here. And I so and away you go, winding it up. Now, I think what I've done was I, um, if I remember right, bear with me, you just... Yes, it, yeah, prove me that I go on. I believe the top comes off. Oh, that's the bottom. That's what happens. When you've ground it, it goes in there. And, oh, that smells nice. There you go. And I've got my coffee beans in there ready for the next grind. So I was pulling it on the wrong place. That's why it wouldn't come off. So I'll leave that off because I've got to put some coffee in there, haven't I? So I'll just stand up so you're not going to see my ugly face anymore. We now... We can see, can't we, what we're doing there, I think. We're now going to put that in there, and I so we are going to put our coffee in there over here. I don't know how much you're supposed to put in here, but and I don't know what we're going to talk about while this is boiling, but. I'm going to go with that one, just for demonstration purposes. <laughs> Put that over there. That's here. I'm going to put that back on there. Put the handle back on. Like that. Put our lid on. Now I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to stand this cup on something which I can soon find to do let's light let's light this thing up it is isn't it let's put it out right yeah that's right that is now sitting on the top of the burner, the, the inner pipes of the burner, um, and it's burning from the wick. And the reason I, I, I went so small, it, it, that flame is going to get a bit bigger and it's going to start coming up around the side of the pot a little bit. Yeah, I could put that there or put something a bit low. Um, but. I'll turn this round so you, you can see it more. Um, it will flame up a bit more as as the little stove warms up. But I was trying to get smaller and smaller on the stove so that uh, it's bang on 8 o'clock at the moment in the evening when I put that on. So we'll say 8 o'clock. 
right to the second end as well, another slurp of tea. I did say this was another exciting video, didn't I? <laughs> I lied. Right, um, actually I'd like to see just how it turns out as well, like it. I know that it does spit out there quite a bit, that's why I was thinking about putting my cup up a little bit higher. But I can always hold that up there, like once it starts, otherwise you're not going to see it start. Um, and as I say, it is a, apart from a demonstration, it's also I want to see how, how long it really does take with a cup full in there. And I know that that water in there will go in this cup. Um, it only does about one cup, so you can't get two coffees out of it. <clears throat> but um, it, it, uh, what I, I think is um, I might try to do at some stage another time. <clears throat> is um, just before it gets to boil, once I know how long that's going to be, um, I might take it off the stove um, so that it's the steam in there is on the um, coffee that I've ground up because otherwise the pressure just pushes it straight up through there and then pushes the water through the filter. It stops the coffee coming through here it just forces the water through the filter, but I think the coffee needs to stand in the steam or the water a little bit. So otherwise, it, I think it tends to come out a little bit weak or you're wasting your coffee really because you're not getting the full potential taste of the coffee. That's my personal opinion of it, but uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. At, at, at the moment, we've got, that look like there's, there's a nice little flame that's coming out of there right underneath the pot, which is where I wanted it. As I say, the, the other pot I've done, I'll grab it out, is this one, was a, a slightly bit, slightly bit bigger. You remember me showing you that? That was done out of a little Lynx can and, um, yeah, a little Lynx can, that's all that was done out of. And uh, I cut a piece off and overlapped it on that one to get that as my top main centre one. Um, but I have managed to go a bit smaller. But I think this Lynx can is, is about the same size uh, um, as that one that's in there, the base. But I have made the inner one, I've made the, in, the inner one on this a lot smaller. I, I've, I've reduced it by a good, oh, a good quarter of an inch right round, I think. Um, Because it was still, with this one, it, it was still flaming up around the side of the pot. And I was trying to avoid that. I wanted to maintain the heat and the flame underneath the, the base of the pot. But it looks like I've got a little bit of flame coming out at the side here. I don't know. I'll just turn the light off for a sec. We might be able to see a little bit better. Well, I assume we saw that. You you probably saw it. I didn't, because I put me a big cup in the way. But there you go. But it looked like it was burning nicely underneath that pot. Um, but as I say, if that's not going to do the job, that little pot, then I'll just go back to this little pot. That all right. So you get a bit of flame up around the side. It might reduce the boiling time actually, because the flame's going up the side. It's got to be heating that water up there as well. But you usually get a little bit of a warning. Mm, yeah, it is slightly getting up there. You get a bit of a warning when it's going to go. What's this here? Yeah, that might do it. Yeah, I might just do that, slip that under there when it's about to go. But, uh, there we go, uh, got myself a little bit of coffee mate there to whiten it up, a bit of sugar over here, I do it as well. Uh, nothing else other than just um, killing time, we're now on oh, five minutes, mm. that's a bit bad isn't it? Um, yeah, go, it's just basically going back to my leather stuff there, um, all my, uh, my uh, 
tin to spot ones. Um, I've got I've got three of those that's um, available for anyone that's interested. Um, I don't know if I gave a price, but um, as I say in America, I did I was looking them up. I did see some in there for it worked out about seventy five pounds in sterling money, which is hundred and something odd dollars. But I'm not charging that. I'm just trying to recover any money that's spent on my leather work. Um, and and uh, that's about it and postage other than that I'm not wanting to make money but a lot of these videos you see up there they're all about people and basically they're using YouTube as a an advertising um, spot you know to advertise their wares to sell or whatever well um, I just enjoy making the stuff but I don't really want to keep making stuff unnecessarily so I like to move it on the only way to move it on is to try and recoup the money back what I've spent out in leather and so them them uh, tinder pouches or spollens whatever you want to call them yes they, they, yes they're worth about 60 pounds easy 60 quid but I'm only ask, asking 35 pound I think that's a fair price to pay for them I'll get me and it is good grade leather and harness leather it's not it's not tat and it's not smart it's all good gear that I use and um, as I say, I'm gonna. This is a, a really dark Havana, but I'm going to, to a point where it looks black, but it's not. Um, I don't really like a Havana quite that dark, but um, my leather supplier, he said he got that one there, like um, and he let me out of it at a reasonable rate. I think it was because it was exceptionally dark, and he might have had a job moving it. I don't know, but um, there you go. So I was. Um, I thought, well, I haven't got it for a particular job, but it, it does the job. But you can, you can see, I've got two spotters here. You can see the difference in the in the colour tone of of the Havana. Um, that's that's one Havana, which I like, and and there's the dark one. You see, there's quite a difference, isn't there? And I do prefer this one. So. Um, there you go. Um, we shall we go from there. But if you are interested, please uh, private message me um, on the uh, channel there, horses, and uh, you can um, you know you're free to to take a choice which one you want. I've got that really dark one. I've got the, a lighter Havana, and I've got a really light tan one. Um, which has got the top in this colour um, and of course there is the tooling on it I hadn't been doing the tooling on a lot of them but it's just a personal touch I just wanted to tart them up a bit better but I didn't want them to look tacky um, so I put a little bit of tooling on them and it, it just makes them look that little bit better and I do enjoy making them so but I can't make any more until uh, until I, I move them or unless people want a particular one I've got a chap that I've done, as I say, I've got a video up there of a, a rifle I completely overhauled, refurbished for him. He ended up buying one of those Tinder Spollens. He now wants me to do a Spollen type thing for his water bottle. So he's sending that along to me, So, um, uh, but that will be on the same lines as one of these Tinder um, Spollens. But um, I don't know till I get it there of how to go about it. But I like um, I like a challenge, so um, we'll see how it goes. This thing's taking a bit of a time, isn't it? Which you know we're on ten minutes. That's 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 terrible, actually. That is terrible. But then, as I've always said, who's in a hurry? What what's the hurry? Where's the race? You know, I mean. You're sitting there, supposed to be chilling out somewhere. Put your old wing guard up round that. Just leave it. And you'll soon know when it's done. Just put your cup underneath, and you hear it gurgle to when it, it you know spits the coffee out. So you know it's not the end of the world, is it? But I'm just waiting as so. I'm waiting for that that titanium pot to turn up. Um. What else am I waiting for? Waiting for Christmas. Waiting for the weather to get better. Um, 
I can't wait, I want to get out there, I want to get out and do a bit of camping and I want to do some bit of videoing this time on the old camera. It's all about this leather work at the moment, most of my videos and all all the, the work I do, you know, jack of all trades and master of only two. Um, I, I want to do a bit of um, bit of bushcraft um, videoing. And so I've got my mate down the road, he's only a mile or two down the road. Um, we planned to go out last year. It never happened because uh, he had something cropped up about his brother up north. Here we go, it's starting to steam. And my wife's been poorly, so it all got shelved. Yeah, we're on about 11 minutes and she's going to go now. Here we go. Uh, sounds lovely, doesn't it, eh? Oh. That filled that, ain't it? Yeah, and the gas doesn't, and the fuel doesn't run out. Well, that's right to the brim, that is. I don't think I'm going to get any more out of that, am I? So, I've got my gloves in here, I think I'm going to use them and to uh, turn that off. That looks a little bit on the hot side. So, I'll move that over there. Yeah, that's it. I managed to push that out. Get a bit of tissue on this lot, just want that little bit there. So yeah, I did put a little bit too much um, water in that over there. I've got to clean the damn thing out now. Well, as I said, that went on to uh, 11 minutes. It's now 12 minutes. So it spat it all out at about 12 minutes. So there you go. Uh, just proved the point. Now that uh, oh, it's a little bit full in it, eh? That that does do the job, and um, get that off. Oh, I've got a steady hand. Yes, I have. There you go. One cup of coffee. Oh, it smells nice. Nice ground coffee. You can't beat it. Um, so there you have it. Nice little coffee grind. You find them on eBay somewhere. They weren't a lot of money. If not, they'd be on Amazon. Handy little tool. Because you can grind some in the bottom. When that's full up. Now, I've not made two of these out of that bottom that I had in there. So it holds enough to do two coffees. Um... And I'll fill that up with, with beans, leave that full once I've got this one full as well. Put it in your put it in your backpack or wherever it goes with the other stuff. Um, I'll ground some up ready so I ain't gonna mess about just to be on the safe side. Like I say, I've already got my milk and everything else there. And I'm pleased with this little stove doing what it's done. So at least I know that, that can boil it boil it up. As you can see, if I can grab it, it's not too... Uh, uh, there's quite a lot of wick on there. Look, it's quite thick, that wick. Ooh, and it's heavy at the moment. So, there's uh, no more to be said, really. It's uh, it's done its job. I'm ple pleased with it. Now you can see how, how it works. But as I say, these, these coffees, they're made by, who is it? There's a bit. They're the people that make them. Um, it comes with this comes with this little holder spare feet and it's got a little holder for the ESB block uh, if you want to use a block you put the folder in, oh, holder in there and burn your block in there so um, that's that's uh, a good feature as well and beauty is I've made this little stove that I've made now at least I know um, that I can get it in there, pack it all inside this, put it in its bag, and it's all in, and it's all in one place. So um, there you go. Well, please 
you know, comments and all the other stuff down the bottom there if you like, dislike. Please subscribe to my channel. I could do with some more people subscribing. Uh, no one seems to be watching any of my stuff. It's, uh, it's either I'm very boring or uh, it just doesn't appeal to them. Well, you know, that's, that's the way it goes. I mean, comments, criticisms. I don't mind, you know, I don't I don't get offended if, you know, but I'd rather you criticise rather than put a thumbs down, you know, then I know where I'm going wrong. If I'm going wrong, I don't know. Um, I'm rabbiting on again, as I do. So it's for, I'll bid you farewell. Uh, you all take care. Thanks for coming along and um, sharing this with me. I hope you enjoyed it anyway. So it's Charlie Tango signing off here. Cheerio.